Hey guys and welcome to River Raven Collects. Today we've got something a bit different. Now bear with me while I get through the name with this one. This is from Good Smile Company. This is the 1 8 scale painted figure air aircraft carrier Wu class Katani collection from the uh, game Camp Collie. So Camp Collie is like uh, sort of like Azure Lane like lots of anime battleship girls uh, what more could you ask for I've said it before I'll say it again <laughs> what more could you ask for um, anyway this is a figure that I've wanted to pick up for quite a while um, it's always one that's been pretty elusive pretty hard to find but yeah I finally managed to pick it up from Amniomi that they have a pre-owned section so I picked it up from there for just $80 which I think is pretty good however it is pre-owned, so we don't really know the condition. Now, Amni Amni has grades, so this was B+, which means there's no visible damage. So hopefully that means that it's in reasonable condition. If it's in better condition than that, then I'd be really happy. But anyway, so I didn't realize this actually came out in 2015. So this is quite an old figure. So July 2015, this came out. So yeah, wow, this is actually quite an old figure compared to what I'm usually picking up. But anyway guys, without further ado, let's get her out of her box and check her out. All right guys, so we've got her here. So all the details are down here, what I read out before. I didn't read out who it's sculpted by, but it is there. So um, I don't really know anything about any sculptors or anything, but maybe that's some information you guys that you're familiar with maybe you can tell me in the comments if they've done any other figures sorry about the glare on this one but that's just how it is um yeah just that sort of plastic but we've got it in there and yeah she's looking pretty good from what i can see but obviously we're not gonna know until we get her out of the box but yeah nice box here we've got good smile company up here and then can collie so yeah um, you know, pretty basic box, we've just got the circle with a bit of ocean in the back, but I do love that they've made like a stormy sort of ocean kind of goes with the character. So here's a better shot of that ocean as well as the figure. So yeah, really, really cool looking figure and I hope you guys can see why I wanted to pick it up because it's really unique. Just a really, really unique, cool figure that I've wanted to pick up for the longest times. Ever since I saw her, which I don't know when that was, but quite a while ago. So this is the back. So her hat comes off. Kind of looks like Griffith, don't you reckon? <laughs> um, so yeah, that, well, not her hat, but whatever that is on her head can come off if you want to display it like that. I, of course, the selling point for me is having that on there and it's absolutely huge so you know maybe you don't have the space to display her with the beast thing on her head but i think that it needs to be on there so last side which is just another shot of her so very cool i'm hoping the base looks like that it might not so we'll take a quick look at the bottom here so not much down there just good smile and all the info and then the top so we've actually got a little bit of a window to that headpiece, which is yeah, really, really cool. And then just the same info again. So yeah, very cool. But anyway, let's get her out of our box. All right guys, so we're gonna be filming the unboxing in person because uh, it's just too big to try and get it into shot the way I normally would. So, oh, we actually don't need the knife because it's second hand, it's already open. So, I'm gonna try and get this all in shot for you. I don't know how this is gonna go, but um, there doesn't seem to be anything to grab onto here. All right, I finally <laughs> got the edge of it here. So, here we go. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I found that when a box has like these flaps, it certainly causes some issues getting it out, but. Anyway, all right, so here she is, I'll put up some b-roll of her in the plastic, but yeah, 
she is looking really, really cool. A bit smaller than I expected, but kind of around the same size um, as what I was expecting. Uh, we've got all the poles for the little like airship things, so that's really good. Um, but let's have a look at the rest of the box first. So we've got the instructions. So you know, it's all in Japanese like you would expect, but um, I don't think it should be too much of an issue. So anyway, um, this backing part here actually comes out, but I think I'm just gonna leave it in there because um, as you can see, I am pretty low on space. So she is unfortunately gonna be going back into a box after this review. But anyway, let's have a closer look at her. All right, guys, so we got her here in her plastic and she's a bit awkward to try and unbox uh, on camera. So unfortunately, I'm kind of going to do it like off camera, but I'll try and film most of it for the most part. We've got a base, we've got a sword there. Well, I don't know if it's a sword. It's more like a walking cane thing. I'm not 100% sure what it is. On the back we've got all the little airships which are really cool. We've got the alternate head as well. And I'm a bit surprised that it did come with an alternate head I thought because it's exactly the same I thought that the hat would have just come off or yeah not really a hat either. But there she is and man like looking at this figure she looks so so good. But this here really caught my eye. So this is the base and this is absolutely fantastic like just have a look at that look at the amount of detail on that sculpt and the whole thing is transparent which I just love transparent things so yeah have a look at that it is so so cool I'm really really impressed with it so you could probably put a light under here and like light up the whole thing I might try and do that when I you know can get her into a display cabinet but let's get her out of her plastic here. So here she is. This is without like her tentacles and stuff so far, but just a quick look at the moment. And man, those are some glossy leggings or whatever they are. And man, face looks really good. Like kind of plain, but that's kind of how it is as well. And let's get her on our base. So quite simple, she just slots in. However, the base does have a little bit of a bend to it or something. It's not completely flat, so she does wobble a little bit. But honestly, it's not too much of a hassle. She's not going to fall over. That's the main thing. So there she is on her base. Up next, we've got her... I'm going to call it a cane. I don't think it's a sword because it just rests in her hand like that. Um, another unfortunate thing, there's no like slot or anything. So that does like to fall out. Um, definitely got to keep an eye on it but here's the headpiece and my goodness they've gone to town on all of the details so it's absolutely amazing like I love these eyes and stuff but this detail under here just really blew me away so let's get these tentacles in and they just slot in really easy I had to use a bit of force on this one but yeah um, they're both really secure they're both not gonna fall out and I'm a bit surprised that they go like around the, the way that they do and there's the little turrets on the side so these look absolutely awesome too man what a absolutely amazing figure i am just yeah so impressed by this and her flowing cape as well looks awesome so on to the rest of the box here so we've got three of these they are all exactly the same However, the poles for them are different sizes, so they'll be at different levels. But yeah, really weird looking, but really cool. And then we've got the alternate head. So I'm not going to be using that, you know, so much of that other head <laughs> um, really makes the figure for me. So I don't know. I don't know if anybody would want to display it without the uh, tentacle head thing. But anyway, they go in like really easy they just slip in the back and then slip onto the base the tallest one has a bit of problem standing up it's too heavy at the top and when bumped does fall over but besides that really really good 
So anyway, guys, I'll leave you with the showcase and be back with my final thoughts. guys well i am really impressed with this one but bear with me while i run through the name one last time so we just checked out the good smile company cam collie one eight scale painted figure aircraft character woo class so i think i got everything in there <laughs> but anyway this figure if you can't tell already i am like over the moon about it this is absolutely awesome i am so glad that I finally picked it up and I have it in my collection now because this honestly just blows me away. Now something to consider with this one is it is from 2015. Next year it'll be 10 years old as the recording of this video. It depends when you watch it I suppose but in 2025 this will be 10 years old and for a figure that is that old, I didn't expect it to be this good. So I'm going to go through like everything here that's really impressed me. So obviously the character itself is absolutely awesome, like an aircraft carrier with the turrets and a weird alien head and like the little, uh, <laughs> the little creatures as well flying around are absolutely awesome. I haven't played the game or watched the anime, so I'm not 100% sure like what this is based off of or anything like that. But moving down, the face, absolutely awesome, really, really cool. Again. I haven't looked at the source material, so I don't know if it's accurate or not. Maybe someone who's into Camp Collie can let me know in the comments. That would be awesome. Moving down again, the figure itself, amazing sculpt. Um, obviously, she's in like a plug suit type thing, right? So really good sculpts on the chest, the arms, the stomach. All of that is really good. And then in the back, we have this extraordinary cape. Like this is extraordinary. Um, it is so good, the way that it's blowing, the way that the wind is catching it. I don't think I've seen a more detailed cape on a figure before. And I'm really glad the way that they've done it, like all black, so that it's in the back. Um, you don't notice it that much, it doesn't stand out all that much. And there was no need to go to all this detail to put such an amazing sculpt on this figure, but they did. and. Man, I like, I continue to look at this cape because it is so fantastic. And lastly, moving down to like the legs and kind of the other part of this figure. So we have this amazing gloss on the legs as well as the boots. And it is awesome. I don't think the camera is actually picking up just how good this gloss is. It is so glossy. It looks, it looks real. Like I'm assuming it's some sort of like latex thing that they were going for. But yeah, it looks absolutely awesome. And moving down again, so we have one last part, and this part uh, really blew me away. This is the base, and the base is her like walking on this sort of stormy water. And yeah, again, they didn't need to go to the level that they did 
with this base, but yeah, it is fantastic, and to be honest, it could be my favourite part of the figure, like, I love the figure overall, absolutely, you know, love the figure, love the sculpt, love the little flying things around her, but the base, ah, uh, man, they did such an impressive job with this, it's also transparent, so presumably you could put a little light underneath it and, like, really light it up, I might do that, I'm not 100% sure yet, because, uh, again, I gotta put her back in a box after this because I don't have the space to display her yet and I do really want her to be in a glass display cabinet where she's gonna be safe, I don't want to have her out in the open. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough about this figure so you guys let me know down in the comments is this one you would consider picking up, is it one that you have picked up? Because uh, yeah, she is absolutely fantastic. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this video please leave me a like. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to 1,000 by the end of this year. And, you know, we're getting pretty close. We're at 710 as a recording of this. So, yeah. If you've enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Leave me a like, leave me a comment. And I'll see you guys on the next one.